Greetings coders. In this video, we are going to dig into the breadth first search algorithm. This algorithm is used to explore paths or explore possibilities with the guarantee that if there is a solution that it will eventually find the solution. If we wanted to use breadth first search on a maze, for example, where it found the shortest path to the exit. We'd give it a starting point at the, the start of the maze and then a goal point at the exiting the maze. And it will systematically go through and check each location until it reaches the end of the maze. In effect, it's building this tree-like structure that allows it to trace back to a prior path once it figures out that a path cannot finish. Tracks back to the next shortest path to the location that we're looking at. The way we're going to look at the breadth first search algorithm is it's got three components. It has parents component, which is, which will in this case contain it contains our history of the path that we've gone to given a certain point. When we're starting out, it starts out at zero, zero. So we're doing a maze in this case. We're trying to find a solution from start to end. What we're looking for is following this direction and then going down. Next, we have a queue. And the queue is where we put the next interesting path that we want to take a look at. And last, we have a matrix of visited. We're able to use this matrix, the two-dimensional array, because the maze is the same two-dimensional array. We have now set the location 00, zero to visited as true. Next, we're going to investigate 00. Zero, zero. Zero, 00 has two available directions that we can go. We can go to this one or to this one. First, we will start exploring to the right at location one comma zero. We add one comma zero onto the parents data structure. So this tree, we now have from zero zero, we went to one zero. And then in the queue, we have that we went west and we ended up at one zero. We mark the one zero position as true as it's been visited. And then we move to the next location available from zero zero. And that would be south. We add zero one to the parents. So we now have these two paths coming off the parents tree. And then we add south and zero one to the queue. And then we mark that we've visited the queue. Or, I'm sorry, we, we mark that we visited this location, the zero one location. So next we'll pop one zero off the queue, this location. Are there any available directions here? We've already been here, but there are two available unvisited directions. So the first one going west, we'll look at first. And so this is position two zero. We add it below one zero because that's how we got there. We also added it to the queue, added the two zero to the queue, and then we marked two zero as visited. Next, we're going to the other option. So from one zero, we went to one one, which is right here. We add one one to the queue and we mark one one as visited. Is this the end? Did we find the end? Nope, not yet. So we're going to investigate zero one zero one is this position here and we'll check it, these two directions that are available to us one one has already been visited looking at one one from this position it's already been visited now let's look at going south that has not been visited so we will add zero two off of zero one to the tree we add it to the queue and then we also mark zero two as visited next we're going to look at one 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 is this position here 
Next, we're going to look at two zero. We remove two zero from the queue. And one, we can't go one, that's a wall. We're not allowed to go that direction, but we can go west again. And this gets us to position three zero. Three zero is added to the queue. Three zero is marked as visited. Is that the end? No, it's not. So we will pop one one from the queue. So we're looking from right here. And the only way we can go is down because to the right is a wall. At position one, two, we add that to the queue. And then that's below the one, one on the tree. And we mark one, two as visited. Next, we're going to pop the zero, two off. The zero, two can't go south if we go west. It can go there, but we've already visited there. So we're not going to do anything with that. It's already marked. We already were marked here. Going south, none of those work from that position. Three zero. Starting from the three zero position, which is right here, we can we have one available direction we can go down. And so we look at we investigate or add three one to be investigated next, which is below three zero. So it's added to the queue. With that, we will look at 1, 2. And 1, 2 is right here. It can't go. It's already been here. It can't go south, and it can't go west. So there's nothing that we can do with 1, 2. So we move 3, 1 from the queue. 3, 1 is right here. It has an available direction. Otherwise, we have a wall, and then we have a direction we've already visited. So now we investigate 3, 2. We add it to the queue. Is this the end? Not quite yet, but we pop 3, 2, and 3, 2 can go south. And in the south position, we add the 3, 3, which is the end location here. We add 3, 3 to the queue. We go ahead and do that. And visited is true now. Is this the end or the end of the queue? Yeah, it is. We are at the end of the queue. So we can now use this tree to track back from the ending location and we can get the path that we went because we're going from the success back to where we started to get from three two to three three we go down so we went from to get from here to there we moved down the same to get from three one to three two we went down now to get from three zero to three one, we went down. And then we moved to get from here, from this location, 2.0 to 3.0, we moved to the right. And then to get from this location to there, we moved right again. And then last, we started here. And to start on the path, we moved to the right. So the final output here would be right, right, right down, 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 and that gets us to the finishing point. That's it for this video.